Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you my accepted illustration portfolio for OCAD University. This year I applied to three different schools and four different programs. The first school that I applied to was Ryerson University for both their graphic communications management program as well as their undeclared arts program, both of which I got accepted into. I also applied to OCAD's illustration program, which I got waitlisted but was eventually accepted this summer. And I also applied to Sheridan College's illustration program, which I got rejected from. Um, but yeah, let's get on to the video. Here is my first piece. It is a acrylic on canvas, and I made this when I was in grade 11. It was supposed to mimic the Impressionist movement and was inspired by Claude Monet. It was also done entirely with a palette knife, so we weren't allowed to use any brushes. My second piece was an observational piece. It was actually the first uh, observational painting I've ever done. I did this in my grade 12 year, so this year, and it is also acrylic on canvas board. Here is my third piece that I did. It is a mixed media piece um, that I did in my grade 12 year, so this year as well. And it is of my grandpa and his struggle with Parkinson's disease. And I made it kind of like a magazine cover, that style. And yeah, I'm very proud of it. I have a self-portrait that I made using mixed media. I think I used fine liner, watercolor, acrylic, as well as uh, Okuhu markers and I also made this piece in my grade 12 year. Here is my next piece I made in my grade 10 year using oil pastels. I absolutely hated using oil pastels but um, I eventually added on more to it in this year and uh, it was just to show the university that I could use different mediums. For my next piece I um, included a print using linoleum block. I made this piece when I was in grade 9 and it was just to show again that I could use different mediums and um, I am good with patterns I guess. It's very trippy looking. Next I have this watercolor fish that I made in my grade 10 year. Um, it isn't my best piece, but I figured to use it because I didn't have enough pieces for my portfolio when I started, so. Here I have another observational piece uh, using watercolor, and I made this in my grade 12 year. And it's just your typical observational piece with fruits and tablecloth, that boring stuff. Here is my next piece that I created in grade 10. Um, I actually don't have this with me right now because it is currently hanging on the wall of my school. But yeah, I used the cross-hatching pen technique and it turned out pretty well at the time. But now that I look at it, there were many things that I could improve on. And last but not least, I have this 3D wire sculpture that I made in grade 9. Um, it is a circus, circus seal that I added cloth on top of, as well as a painted ping pong ball. And I made this um, because it was inspired by Alexander Calder's uh, miniature wire circus. And here you can see even the tail can move, as well as the flippers. It was just to show movement in my art piece. In my case, literal movement. And that is the end of the video. I will be including the portfolio sketchbook in my sketchbook tour video for next time. Um, and if you want to see the pieces that I did for my rejected Sheridan portfolio, then 
please say so in the comments. Alright, have a great day everyone. Bye!